What's up, my boy? George Perez right here. George Perez Stories, episode 164. This podcast is brought to you by GB Extract. That's right, guys. If you're looking for the highest quality in shatter, wax, sauce, butter, make sure you hit up GB Extracts. This podcast is also brought to you by Cakes by Isaac. If you're looking for a custom cake, you want it to look like Drake, your first take, Cakes by Isaac. Side dick and what's tricking? Oh, shit. Episode 160-something. I forgot which one you said, but it's time to suck today's dick. And people that have been DMing me about the audio, yeah. I'm letting you know. X, if it ain't fixed, I'm going to fuck you up, dog. I, I'm just letting you know, dog. I love you, but they keep bugging me about it. I got to bug you. I just did some fucking 1980 cocaine right now, dog. That shit got me hyped up. Some alpha brain. Yeah. I'm ready to talk about some shit. That's what that is, huh? Oh, yeah. Alpha it's, like, it's like 80s cocaine in the capsule. George is mad at you right now, dog, because you talked before you introduced No, no, I'm not mad <laughs> X to the F-A-G. What up, my boy? What's up? Fuck what Eddie said, but I'm, I was at the lake today, and I'm actually happy everybody's out. They're back to normal. They're sucking what? today's dick today. Everyone is everybody had, at the lake? Yeah, the beach. If you see everybody's Snapchat, and that's what's up. They're you being suck, American. You suck Will's dick today. What's the conspiracy today? behind that? I don't know, but I have a feeling that somehow there's going to be a second wave, and somehow, but who the fuck knows? But I'm just happy to see Americans being Americans. Hey, what if they said Paisas are the only ones that had coronavirus, and this is an excuse to get rid of you guys? Fuck. To deport you. That's fucked up, dog. That's fucked up. Later, homie. Later. <laughs> uh, like every time you try to jump, you cough. <laughs> you caught at the border like that. Well, fuck it. Yo, our guest in the building tonight has been on many times. My boy, E many, to many. the zone. Many, what up, many. E zone? What's up, my boy? What's up, man? Feels good to be back. This is the first podcast ever since that pandemic shit came out. But I'm like... I've been to the studio too many times, and you know that's in downtown. And we kicked know, it too, though, uh, during the pandemic. We did, and then the I mean, the downtown is notoriously known for a bunch of homeless people in Skid Row, and I've driven by there for the last two months, and none of them died. No, but it, like, and it's not that I was hoping. Like, I was like, hey, any like, of them leave, bro? Like, <clears> there's a know. block right by our studio that goes up, and they have like three tents or four tents that I've been there, and like they don't fuck with them because they don't really damage it. They clean up. They're cool homeless people. And those four people are there. Wow. And, and and like, it's not, one of them's old, one of them's like, two of them are young, and the other one's like some lady. But it, I'm just like, yo, they survived the last two months. Like, maybe one of them had a mask on. So nah. after that, I was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to come out. And That's what his underwear in his face. He has yeah. no mask on. Hey, uh, is, is Be Real TV Studios by, like, where LA Originals ones used to be? Nah, that's, that's Skid Row, the right? L.A. Originals used to be, uh, or the Soul Assassin Studio used to be, like, by the Greyhound Station. Okay. So, They're by Los Callejones. Yeah, like... It, right by the Yeah, we're by, like, right Los by Callejones. Yeah, like, yeah. we're literally, if you go, like, the, the heart of Santee Alley, we're, yeah. like, right there in the Because I, I, I remember I went one time, I was like, I gotta go, dog. I still gotta drive to the Callejones. He's like, dude, it's right behind us. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? I didn't really could walk it there. So, it's almost, like, on the opposite end. And I'm, I, I like that location better because the Greyhound Station... You know All the mean? bums are there, well, huh? Not just that, but like you got the, bums for different those, cities. Those are people coming in. <laughs> yeah, dog, yeah. from other cities, and you don't know what the, it's like. It's almost like if you find a dog, and I mean, no, it's a bad comparison, but if you find a dog in the streets, and then you bring them into your dogs, and you shower every day, and then all of a sudden they all got fleas. Yeah, you're just dog. Like, Man, I should have never brought this fucking bitch ass dog in here. I ain't trying to save dogs, dog. I used to bone a bitch that worked for Greyhound dogs. <laughs> you bone her Greyhound style? She was the she was the uh, coordinator, like on the routes and shit. Dispatch. Like, yeah, the dispatch shit. Oh, so you're boner while she was working? Yeah, no, no. Like, She's like, break her, break her. She whatnot. would just be like, um, like, sometimes they would make her ride the buses and shit. And she'd be like, the fucking buses are disgusting. Hey, would she pick you up like the dad from a Bronx tale? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're a C. C, get in here. Yeah, when she would jack me off, she would do like, <laughs> like the door. <laughs> Did you ever travel, Greyhound? 
Hell no. That's the worst, dog. Yeah, like, I've never, like, felt the need to ever, like, even though, like, there's some places that'd be, like, a dollar to get to, like, from here to Vegas. I've done it. I've done the Vegas trip. Oh, How much is it? 30? It's like 30 bucks. You're fucking dirty pious ass probably did it. Well, you probably paid for the- How bad was it, dude? You probably paid for the no bathroom one, too, your cheap ass, huh? fuck yeah, I paid for the no bathroom. It's (laughs) three hours. I mean, I ain't never done it, but I considered it, but how bad is it, What do you mean, no bathroom? Yeah, you can pay for a bus with bathroom or no bathroom. Like this one had, I mean, it's it's only three four hours. I mean, they stopped by like halfway. They stopped by and then they took a piss. But I went because I had to work that day, and all the homies went to fucking Vegas, and they told me they're like, "Well, you got to ride back. Just get here." And I wasn't gonna drive there, so I said, "Fuck it, I'll take an Uber." You gray on the dog. Took some shrooms right before I got the I got I got there. Some Eddie move. Took the shrooms. Was Why you gotta fucking use boot. me as your fucking subject every time, bro? You gotta explain, yeah. <laughs> bro. Am I do you, am I your superhero? Or do you You're, look up to me? You gotta be like, yo, teach it. Eddie. You know what I'm saying? Come on, dog. Just tell me you love me already. Talking teaches me shit. He's like, this is how we do this shit. Look at this. Everywhere <laughs> he goes, he's like, he's a greyhound champ or what? Ah, it was dope though. But it, it, I liked it. Thirty so what, bucks. I mean, but what was it like though? Like, was there like? What old was, people, a bunch of old people. This shit's whack, but imagine it being on the bus. But for four hours, yeah. like, hey. okay, you're on the bus, and there's people farting, coughing, oh, stinking. It's yeah. like a plane. Fuck. How many percentage of people were viejitos? Full? Like, was it 60% old timers? But it's yeah. four hours. Yeah, it was like, three, yeah, no, it was oh, longer than man. four. It was like five because yeah, it takes four normally. It five minutes. Yeah, it was, Xavier yeah, yeah, yeah. was like, remember on Dumb with Dumber with the hot chicks from the bus? He goes, no, it's the wrong bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're going the wrong way. It wasn't that bad. I was on stream. I couldn't do that, bro. We it's just we stopped right before uh, you know Vegas, where the uh, the Buffalo thing is. Yeah. I got there, bought two tall cans, fucking huffed them right? there. Huh? State line. Yeah, the state line. Got two beers. Got buzzed right before I even showed up with the homies. I was just buzzed, and then I got right back. Right. It was a one way trip. Hey, when you're on the bus, there's some old lady trying to molest you, dog, mm-hmm. sitting next to you. Well, you know, you know that happened. <laughs> old ladies are about it, dog. Old ladies are with it. Like, he had no beard back then and shit. He's like, <laughs> you woke up with granny gnawing on your pecker now the last time i took a bus dog was upstate like prison bus that's the last time i've ever been on a fucking bus is the motherfucking prison bus right that's the worst bus remember the bus that would take you to court yeah and everyone, nah, that one's chill everyone pointing at you bagging on you from the car <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you don't do road trips Nah, like, when's the last time you did a road on trip? A bus, fool? By no, no, by bus. your no, by your in your car. You said, "Hey, I just gonna- I went to a funeral, homie. I went up north. I went to Soledad." <laughs> I mean, I'm not laughing at that, but he said road trips. I was like, that's, that's, like, that's the closest yeah. thing to a road trip. Well, he told me that was a road trip for him, though. No, I will with my kids and shit. Oh, okay, so our family. Like a, yeah. We celebrated. Hey, X, if we say if George Perez, boom, big fucking United States tour. Got the fucking tour bus. Are you driving the bus, dog, or no? Dude, we fucking went to... Uh, Fresno, and it was all three of us. We were squishing the back. Oh, what are you talking about? It was dog. horrible. That, no, we went to San Jose. Yeah, San, San Jose. Jose. I wish we went to Fresno. It would have been a lot more <laughs> Yeah, get like a Tesla bus. Dog, this it was Will, us, Will, and Martin. You could tell they didn't trust Will at that rental, that car rental spot because they gave him the smallest uh. Toyota ever, dog. <laughs> and we fit five full six, including me. Dude, yeah. side dick in the what back. What kind of Toyota? Corolla or what? It was a small, the, not, not the Camry, the Corolla, I think. Yeah, so that's like a five-seater. You fit six? It was, it was no, me. No, it was five. It was cool. five, but no, like, it was me. Six. Six. Eddie weighs two years. Yeah. seven with Mike Dean's toe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eddie had to sit in the front. Nah, I got sat in the back both times. Sat in the yeah. back at one yeah, point. Yeah, I was fucking. Did exa- Eddie had? Martin drove back, but I think you, you and someone else drove in the front. Uh, but I hey, was that I, like Buff Martin? Because he has like a face, bro. A, he, he was buff at one yeah, point. Nah, hey, bro, I had to sit by Will one time. Dog, but hey, X was in the middle foot. I'm just throwing all my weight on this foot. Dog, <laughs> well, like, you, you ever played? Foot. You ever played cello? That, that thing in the car, wherever the car goes, you kind of just lean with it. Eddie, if the car went left, dog, Eddie would just go boom. And they hit a hard right turn for him. Yeah. Boom on him, dog. <laughs> Sleeping. I saw, I saw a video of that shit gone wrong where like it was like an old Corolla type of vehicle and the shit popped over. <laughs> nah, but when we get there, I'm like, fuck yeah, dog. You know what? We just rolled the car right up here. We stopped at his family, passed shit like that, ate. I'm like, that tight ass car squeeze. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to get some good sleep. Hell no, it was fucking gay pride parade, dog. <laughs> Nothing but fucking gay dudes in this sick-ass hotel. Fools grabbing ass, Fair holding month. hands. 
I don't know what was going on, but Hot George Dog Fest. Dog. Fool, I didn't book us for that fest. No, yeah, it was going no, yeah, down. No, no, no. We no I'm saying, but I don't know what was going on with the room, but then George. I like that George had to step in there. He said, Fool, don't you say that I booked us for this shit? No, nah, but George finally got because the room situation was crazy. Yeah, we looked, they like, were like, we looked like five dudes that were about to bone did each you guys other. Did you know dog. that shit was going to go on? Nah. nah. I didn't know. I was like, you know what, dog? Dude. I got to work today. Nah, dude, we get but, out the car, and like you said, it's gay property. I know. Right I hear first thing I hear is techno music. I'm like, what's going on out here, dude? And, and then, then I see out. a fence and I see a bunch of fools with ass hanging out on booty shorts. Dude. I'm like, oh. Eddie looked like a fucking a top, a top bear. I look like I, was I look like a bottom and shit. Top, They're like uh, top the, shelf bear. They yeah, look like me and Martin were about to take down George and Xavier. <laughs> Will dog. Nah, like these fools are wearing the same Jordan jersey. Dog. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they had a pink Bulls jersey. Dog. Oh, all I know is that valet guy. You know how they pull up that fool was judging. It's like this fool's with this fool. That yeah. fool's with that He's, fool. Dude, hey, oh, he too? knew I was with him. <laughs> no, they were like, that, like they were like they probably thought I had a big ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> But what's crazy was like I'm thinking it's a bad, it's a badass hotel, nice room. I'm like hey. fuck it, I'll bone some lesbian bitches if I have to. But dog, we we do the show and then George's like we're fucking out of here, dog. So we didn't even get to get comfortable. We had to get in that tight ass car yeah. and drive all the way back the same night. Fool, the to- ballet fool was like he's like he's like that fool George. He's the pimp. It was Memorial Weekend, dog. Everyone's out partying. Food's getting ass. Strip clubs open back up, dog. Couple two of them out here in OC. Are y'all open? No, nah, not yet. Sometime this week, though. I think Thursday, Friday, we're opening back up. But strip clubs open up. Uh, the ones that serve food, dog. If you serve food, you get it open up. Have you ever ate at a strip club? I mean, you work oh, at dog. one, but I, I know you don't serve food there. All the time. We used to go, all of us, we used to take a break at work, and we go to, we work at a strip club, and we'll take a break, and we'll go to another strip club to eat their food there, dog. There's Venus of Beach Boulevard. The most ghetto is spot worse than House of Eden. House of Eden's ghetto, dog. Venus is like yeah. Venus is where you go if you get fired from House of Eden. And right there, it's crazy because their food is good as fuck. What do they serve? Bar they food? serve every I get the same thing all the time. The, is that that one place that me and George, that you and George took me? I think I think we might took you a long time in, ago. In order like a like a platter the where Venus had everything. Sampler, dog. Yeah, the sampler. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Using that loophole though to like stay open, the fact that they serve food. Well, because technically you're a restaurant if you, you make food. money off of food. Yeah, you can serve so that if you're shit. making money off of food. But Venus is crazy because like it's it's crazy because you'll get there and like some fool pat you down or take your ID, get the money to come in. You come in and you sit down and then you notice. The same fool that pat you down is now he's DJing. <laughs> he's over here DJing and he's doing security he took work up like that. Job yeah, dog, he's doing no, but I'm saying that's how their club is in general. Like he's doing all that shit. The bartender's like sixty years old. She used to be hot. She still looks old as fuck, Damn. but hot. But the food is legit and it's cheap. We just take our hour breaks, go there all the time. I want I want to know this because you and George are, um, you know, obviously you, you're the DJs at, at strip clubs and different ones and. With uh, certain things opening back up, I mean, even I've had my fair share of strip club actions where it's like, even when you go to a VIP, as anything goes. Now, after these regulations come up, like, what's gonna happen? Are you gonna have these these uh, these girls wearing masks like Arab bitches, and they're gonna be like, yo, you gotta look at me Amsterdam status through a glass, or are you gonna <laughs> let them like? Are, is the VIP price gonna go up? Shit, the scary part was that. Uh like, a lot of people that I know that work in full nudes are like, fuck, are we even going to open up again because of the whole contact thing? But what's crazy is this chick I know, because uh, the library's opened up, and then Angel's opened up, too. And this chick I know went to work there, and she went all safe with, like, gloves and masks. She's like, man, these bitches are grinding on dick, giving dances, doing all this shit with no glove, no mask, or nothing. So is that your own wrist type shit? It is till like, someone comes in and sees your shit. They're like, what the fuck's going on here? Like this shit's not right, but who knows if I they're mean, gonna send gonna someone step in yeah. there? Is there a fire marshal checking in? Like you know what I'm saying? There might be. There might be COVID police, dog. That's the new, that's the new wave, huh? Oh, you're you're the conspiracy. You're you're a part of the conspiracy shit right there. Yeah, dog. what up? Is there such a thing? Do you, <laughs> so, yeah, what up? Do, you, do you think that do you think that there's such a thing as like COVID police? Because they're not gonna be COVID police, but they want you. Some states want you to download that tracking app, and I don't know if you did that. Did the last Apple update? It literally Dog, can track you. We worked in San Diego. Me, That's George, right. his son, all of us did cleaning, and George George knew the fucking guy that ran the whole project for the construction site. This fool said. That they literally have like their own little policing where they come to the site and they see someone say, if your dumb beaner ass has no mask and no gloves on, 
they're gonna be like, how come he doesn't have his shit on? We're shutting you down. Like shit like that. I don't yeah, know if it's gonna be like, it. yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be like that. There's strip that? clubs. I didn't see that, but himself, he said that shit. Okay, so I had two experiences before I even go into it. I want to go say, Xavier, when you're passing a blunt, if I'm next to you and you're going like this, I just didn't want to seem rude. You know no, I know what you mean. I'm asking you, if you're still hitting it. Don't go like this, eh? Because I'm going to think you're going to pass it. And then I he said, like, like, like a whole thought. He's all like this. I'm just holding it right here. My bad. Yeah. I, just, you know, I was like, not, not like an asshole way, but I'm just like, hey, fool. I was like, I thought you were passing you. No, nah, no, you're cool. The other thing, we'll today I like went Justin to CBS, Bieber. right? And they had uh, the security guard. It wasn't even like, like you know, like a like a wrestling action figure security guard, but it was like a CBS in Westwood. And he had the paisa with the old ass Magnum and shit. You know what I mean? With the good. But, oh, like, he, shit. They had, him, they had him enforcing at the door. No mask. Don't come in type shit. And that's the first time I've seen it. And I've been to Costco. I've been to yeah. the bank. You know what I mean? I well, like, look, dog. Half half the world is filled with people that are social and people that are not social, dog. It's 50-50. Same thing when you hire these people to run the store. Some people are going to want to say you have to have a mask on, but they don't know how to socialize with people. Then you got your Karens that work at a store. Be like, hey, where's your fucking mask? It's all on the person that's working at that time. Like, if you want to be a dick and be like, yo, I need your fucking mask on right now. I'm going to police you. There's people that are going to be like that. And then there's going to be people like me that are high as fuck, coked out, working somewhere. And be like, I don't give a fuck what you have on have on. Because it know? became a norm to wear a mask, bro. And I don't think it's going to be going away. You know what I'm saying? I was like, we no longer look at Asians and Muslims like, hey, if we really hear like the. That's the first thing I said. Like, I'm going to buy me a sick ass. What's that Muslim shit called? Habib or Jabib? I'm going to buy me a Nike Habib, dog. I seen that shit out of Nike once, Sick ass one, dog. Damn. Full I'm, I'm skull mask. Sure, I'm pretty sure someone said this, but it fucking, I feel bad for them having to wear the damn mask. It's just annoying, mm. dude. I don't know why you wear it in your car, honestly. Take this shit off, fool. Well, in the I don't, car. I mean, you know, it, well, I mean, it depends, man. I don't think it's like that airborne for me to be worried about it, but it's like I like I recently started. Yeah, you're sitting cabin I, I'll fever. Give, I'll give it to you because you do live with your grandma. And your mom and their older people, so yeah, yeah, to me, I don't, I don't live yeah. with them. So to me, it's like, well, fuck it, we're yeah. gonna be cool. But I do respect that. But I mean, I don't know. No, no. But at the end of the day, like I recently started going back into into um, what is it like the park and uh, going back to working out and doing all that shit, right? And I've noticed that people are not distancing, and I just think it's almost like a free for all, man. Because like, for example, like if everybody's, I mean, obviously, if anybody would have had it here, we all would have been, we would have been fucked. I've never dealt with racism in my life, ever. <laughs> never, dog. Maybe once or twice younger, shit like that. I, I didn't know what was going on, and it was racism. But when the first time, I went to a fucking gas station recently, a month ago, and I was like, yo, 40 on five. And the guy's like, nope. I'm like, what do you mean, no? Here's 40 bucks on five. He goes, you need a mask. I can't, I can't accept your money. I go, what the, what the fuck you mean? Because I don't have a mask on? Because, like, what's that got to do with me paying you How 40 bucks for five? This is, like, maybe probably about a month ago. So I was like, fuck, this shit's getting serious now. So this is this is what I was talking about earlier. So I drive down the street to another gas station. He takes my 40 bucks like nothing. It's all on the person. It's all on if, if do I want to do, want, do, want, do I want to be Officer Farva today from Superbad? Don't want, I mean, super troopers. It's, don't want to be a dick and enforce this rule. Like, some people, like, they never had power in their life. So they feel that power, and they're like, I'm going to enforce this shit and be a dickhead to you now because yeah. my wife so, cheated on me. So at House of Eden, you guys aren't going to have aren't gonna have lap dances, right? Uh, no, but, like, do you think? But our majority thing at House of Eden is we sell alcohol. No, I know, I know. But what I'm trying to say is, like, do you think the strippers are going to be, like, kind of sneaky and be like, hey, homie, I'll give you a lap dance in your whip. Or I'll see I mean, you it, in the it, whip. What, what I, it, I know you guys don't give a fuck. Is it gonna be what, like I'm just saying is hippo, where it's gonna be like four people. Look, dog. Bitch on the table? Yeah, because there's four girls. Dog, look, the strip club game is. You remember on on forty old version when they go speed dating? Yeah, that's the strip club is gonna be like that now. You're gonna go to the club, buy this bitch some drinks, It'd be kinda cool, get though. to know her, get her number, and then all right, we can go fuck outside you of can here. Call that the Costco <laughs> package, because think about it, bro. Like for, example, I mean, I, like just I'm just looking at it in perspective, right? Let's just say. These all four of us go to the strip club and it's under new COVID rules, and they have these little cocktail tables. And you got like you know how the people at the basketball games to wipe down the sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got somebody after a bitch which is up, they wipe down the tables real quick. Oh yeah, they, dog. And they just like, rotate. That like, way you know if you want to take the bitch. Like the Shaq at the free throw line. Well, no, but like it, I'm telling you, COVID now with, with the strip club is like you're gonna go in there if a certain girl that's not doing good or whatever. You can now leave with this girl now because you can convince her. Like, look, bitch, we got coke, we got weed, 
We got a bottle. We got Leverage a 24 pack. And fuck it, you might make some money tonight if one of us gets drunk and wants some pussy real bad. You know what I'm saying? And like, they'll go. Like, back when I used to go to the strip club days when I was younger, I used to go all the fucking time. And the guy who ran Cali Girls, who I knew him forever. He was like, look, dude, you got to stop coming here and taking the fucking girls with you because the shift's not even over. Because we'll go four or five deep, and then the chicks will kick it with us, and we live right by there, me and the homies. So we'll be like, hey, we're going to go back to the crib, smoke, do a couple hey, lines. Once they leave, they have chill. to pay that. The, the oh, bottom, yeah, the but we'll room, kick right? in. Yeah. We're like, well, I'll kick yeah. in five. That is shit. And they'll fucking leave, and the manager will get mad at shit, but, you know, fuck it. Did you see that? I, I know Eddie Pye's side because he works at the strip club. Did you see that video of the, the drive through strip club? I saw it on what the Explore page, but I didn't click it. I was just like, I seen that in the drive through rave that tripped me out. That's whacking is different, dog. Well, well, what do you think? I, I'm it's, asking it's, you, it's, how I stupid mean, that's is the next it? Level, bro, because at the end of the day, as much as people want to say that this shit's not going to come back, the, and it's the, like we're not, nobody here is a scientist, but the majority time a customer I mean, goes on. to the strip club to be to be someone that you're not on a normal daily basis. Like you got an algebra teacher. That teaches high school kids molesting girls in the five for hundred. Like the high school movie <laughs> you know, where the teacher yeah. shows up at the strip club. Yeah, <laughs> dog. I mean, you you can be somebody else. Like you're not E Zone from B Real TV no more. Now you're Romero from Spain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I you think it's a random. And name. these chicks will believe anything you say. Like you could say some dumb story to them. So, and, and, so some girl has came back and told you like he's a lawyer. No, like yeah, he, they he, think he, that. He's hey, a cop. You could turn, yeah. like, he's right, though. You could turn that shit on them, bro. Like, think about it. Like, when you walk into a strip club, just how, like, they gonna, they're going to tell you everything you want to hear to make you spend that money. You could also fucking tell them, be like, oh, you yeah, know what? why be yourself? I'm, why be I'm, I just came off a movie set. Fucking uh, Sylvester Stallone was there. I'm over here just as a PA. We got a four-hour break. whoop de whoop you could go ahead and, you know, grease the wheels the same way. Yeah, no, but trust hey, but, me, but, I lie. But, I lie, but there's a difference between lying and saying you're like, if you're actually a jardinero. Nah, dog. There's, you hey, say dog, you're an architect, you bro. Hey, there, you see what there, I mean? There's this old man <laughs> fool that I see all the time. And I, re- I always talk, I always fuck with him, dog. I used to call him because he looks like John Voight, dog. Is that the fool you call Primo? Nah, he's <laughs> an old white guy. He looks like John Voight from Varsity Blues. Remember the coach? Yeah. Looks just like him. Has a long ponytail. And uh, when I first met him, this fool come in with Versace glasses, loafers, shorts that are sh- like lower than his knees, button up, sick ass tucked in. What's the fool's name? And, and, and I'm on the and I'm on the microphone like, oh, what's up? We got a fucking <laughs> '80s director in the building. Like I'm talking shit to him. I'm like, what's up, ponytail? Like, and he got mad. He goes, hey man, my name's George. It's not ponytail. I go, oh well, shit. Nice to meet you, George. And like ever since then, I was cool with them. We'd always talk. And then this fool would start getting drunk. And he start naming out all the bitches he gave money to the fuck in the club. He goes, oh, man, that girl's pussy stinks. She doesn't know how to fuck. This is not going, man, George, who are you boning with that old dick? And one of the black <laughs> girls told me. I'm like, man, that fool ain't got no dick gang. What are you talking about? She goes, dude, I boned this guy, and I'm thinking the same thing. I'm going to get this easy 200 real quick. This motherfucker pushes a button. And his dick gets fucking rocking Wait, hard. Yeah. He said, "Fool, he's like a side he dog. had like what do you mean? dog. Hold on. He had like some procedure done in his dick that he pushes a button and the steel rod in his dick gets it hard." He said, "Fool, how I loaded need, is he? How I loaded is he? He's old. This, he's like seventies, like, dog. I'm telling you, bro. Who did he go to? Frankenstein's doctor. That's what I'm nah, saying. he has money, dog. He just did a, a shoulder replacement too. He get his dick replaced first. He, he, must, be, <laughs> he, he must be going to Chloe Karda- Kardashian's fucking. I didn't believe her, dog. You she's like, I mean? she's like George knows how to fuck. I'm like, what are you talking about, bitch? He's old. He might just be on a fucking blue pill, homie. Nah, she's seen him, fool. Blue chew. Telling you, dog. It's like it's, you never seen someone with a pacemaker. It's like that for his dick, though. Hey, fucking Jason knew the Canadian version of that, bro. Of the what? When we stayed in the, the Beverly Hills of uh, Toronto, he knew this one fool named John, right? He had a fake dick too. No, it's not like. But <laughs> this fool was like that one fool that you just never expected. He looked like you know, like a square white boy till like he. It was time to party, and even though he didn't turn up all the way, he just liked like the ecstasy kind of drugs. He was like that fool. He had everything, bro. Like, and we were there during Fashion Week, so he had different type of people coming through, and I'm just like, how the fuck do you just know these fucking? He was just drugs, that one. dog. Drugs. What's it? Weed. If you smoke weed. Or any drugs you do, anything. Some chick somewhere is like, damn, I have no weed. Oh, wait, let me hit up X. Oh, wait, let me hit up Ezo. Let me hit up Ed. 
Well, he got weed for sure. He'll smoke me out. To put it to you in perspective, the bottom floor of his of those condos, the Versace store was the front. So I was like, you can only imagine the type of people that lived there. Dog, I knew some food dogs. Those dogs' lives were worth more than me. Eh? My homeboy, like, my cool. homeboy Richie, dog. He had he was a he was a bouncer for nightclubs in Vegas. Shout out to my boy Richie out there in Vegas, dog. I met him through the homeboy Peter. This fool, this fool uh, worked for a union company. They did lighting for commercials. And uh, I was on Vegas. I'm like, yo, I need some Kush, dog. This is back in the day when that OG was around. Oh, five, Pablo. <laughs> he goes, hey, I'm going to send you my boy, Richie. <clears throat> he sends me. It's always a full name, Richie. Yeah, dog. He <laughs> comes through. Nice little half ounce. How much you pay for it? Dog, I got it dirt cheap because it was the homie. He grows it. He has a pattern. How Vegas. long ago was this? This is probably 2005, four. So at that time, it had gone from 500 to like 400, 350. <sighs> Shit, sometimes six. Yeah. But um, what'd that, you get it, then what you get it for? That, uh, the, the, the half ounce I got, dog, I got a dirt cheap for two hundred only. That's like, which is good yeah, because because you can get a full Peter. ounce for two hundred right now. But then he gives me a stack of passes like this big that are VIP passes for all the sick nightclubs, like sick ass shit. I didn't use them or like, like that. Like passes, like the ones you get in Vegas for the naked chicks. No, not naked chicks, but they're like for like clubs for like no, but like service. little like little yeah, like little cards, yeah, like you know, oh, little strip yeah, club yeah, yeah, like yeah. like those. So he gives me those. I want some chicks and shit. And then he goes, hey, hit me up later if you want some of that snow. I'm like, dog, pff, most definitely medieval times. Let's do it. I hit him up again. He goes, just come to the pad. Dog, this fool smoked bud. That was it. But he had a fucking a, a silver tray that looked like the tray that was in Titanic that was buried with the fucking Hope of Diamond crest chest. It's like the ultimate rolling tray. Dog, <laughs> sick. Like straight steel. Like if you blasted him yeah. and hold it up, the bullet's not going through. Damn. So this fool has a tray with like Every fucking drug you can think of, coke, ketamine, excess, everything, dog, everything, and all he does is smoke bud. I go, what's up, fool? I, I like, I go, damn, I know you party like that. He goes, I don't. He goes, but bitches do. He goes, damn. I always keep this tray full of different drugs because when bitches come over here and they see that, they're gonna want to party no matter what. Fuck. And I'm like, dog, he doesn't do none of the not coke, coke nothing. That reminds me of that one. Eddie, Eddie knows that. I don't, you weren't there. Maybe you might have been there. I don't remember. I was fucked up, too. That reminds me of that one time. We've talked about this. That fucking rave party in that secret room. Oh, yeah. The, where the, that the red guy room? just fucking came through. <laughs> I don't think I was there. <laughs> Razzu was there. Was there that fool. Razzu took us here. You know, the after hours I've been type there of like, shit. Oh, is that the one where that fool was falling asleep? And Dog, I've been, yeah. Yeah. I've been, oh, yeah, told me I've been to shit. this one a bunch of times before. But I think it was the first time taking eggs. This spot is so cracking, dog. That it was raining so hard and one time five four in the morning, these motherfuckers are still there partying hard, dog. Even in the outside patio where it's raining, dog. This red room that is always packed with hoes, all that shit. Bitches fucking probably sucking dick. Jacket fools also up there because it's just a red. Probably this big, maybe a little more. And after hours is equivalent to that party where Batman, with, uh, what is it, that Batman with Jim Carrey in it? You know where he wrote shows. Nah, up this it? one's crazy, dog. This dude, this one, uh, this dude, after hours, like, up. look. All I gotta say is, I try to get there at two in the morning. I was mad, and this was like, it's after hours. We're at the it's, comedy store. It starts at two. We get there at three or four, and I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure it's after. It's two. But we got there. He doesn't, no know, bullshit. He doesn't know Hollywood. Empty though. as fuck, dude. Two o'clock. And I, and I even told the guy, he's like, you guys are here early yeah. as fuck. They let us in free. That's early we were. Hey, hey to, to be fair, though, man, like, I ain't going to lie, man. Like, it's two in the morning, bro. Dog, like, we would go to like you seven, don't know what I mean. six, seven yeah, in the morning. Well, we got like, shit to do in the morning. Like, I don't want to, like, <laughs> it's not just to agree with this fool, but like, if we're going to make the jump to from here to after hours, like, I need some shit to keep my battery going. because Dog, they go, have it all there. Just let me finish. They have it all there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy because 2 a.m. What happens when you're in? I'm where I'm at the comedy store. 2 a.m. 1:45. They stop serving beer. No alcohol at that time. I'm in the devil's eye. I'm already fucked up. I'm looking for something to fuck. I'm trying to get faded. I'm wilding out. And then my boy Ross was like, "Yo, man, they have an after party ting going on down the streets." <laughs> And he he was the first one to introduce me to that shit because when I was younger we used to do that shit all the time, but it's been a fucking minute. So we go to this one. Normally when we go, we go with like exit. We're there like at four in the morning, three thirty. So last call the comic store X is on a sick one. He's fucked up, faded. When X gets faded, he gets real brave, dog. He was like, "Fuck this, let's go right now." I'm like, "All right, dog." And when I'm Ooh. faded and I, when I'm with X, I try to be cool, listening. Oh, tell so, about the parking where we parking. We had to walk. Oh, dog. 
Yeah, so, if you're invited to a party from that pool, it's going to be a grimy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your dog. Grimy. Skid Row. Nothing grimy. But bums. So I finally convinced X. I'm like, look, dog, we can't go there now. It's too early. Like, we don't show up to like 3.30, sometimes 4 in the morning. We'll show up there. And he's like, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, just to prove you fucking wrong, we're going to fucking go. So we went, and the only person there is the DJ and the bartender. <laughs> the only thing, the only reason why I love going to these things, because what happens at 2 a.m.? can't buy alcohol no more yep. dog at these fucking after hour spots these shady motherfuckers that are doing this at these shady buildings they're fucking slanging beer shots Eddie, do, all that do you remember shit. what i came back with oh yeah dog they had to cut the homie dog. they had to cut the for and three for bucks cheap. three and bucks cheap as fuck. Stoked, dog. And, then look, dog. and if you got a homie that don't have cash like oh i don't have cash dog ATM. the bitch has the fucking <laughs> cube on her iphone where she oh, swipes it, yeah, yeah, dog, and they're not shady because that's that's yeah. their thing. They're there all the time. Yeah. But dog, we're sitting there getting faded, fucked up, and I got a sack on me, and everyone's like, "Yo, let me get a bum." I'm like, "Let me get a drink, <laughs> buy me a drink, I give me a bum." I've never, I was, I've been to those type of parties, but I never trusted enough to buy alcohol there. The one, the craziest shit no, after the al- comedy, after the comedy store type. No, shit, the lines was, are long for alcohol, bro. This will hit a, a seventh bell, right? And then we, we were there, and the comedy store closed. Oh, shout out to Seventh Bell. We had kicked it. <laughs> That's my boy over the there, ba- Leo. At the back bar, and it was getting to 2.30 at the comedy store, so they had let us kick it there for a while because we were smoking out. Uh, who's the girl at the at the, at the bar? Um, oh, you know, the color hair we kid. don't want to uh, say her name. We don't want to get yeah, trouble. Yeah, but you know the homegirl? Yeah, okay, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. The, you know the home girl that hooks it up or whatever. The bartender out there, she knows we, who she is. We were we were there like she hospitality kicking it. So we, we're the one, some of the last ones to leave. And I had a little bottle of Hennessy in my pocket, right? So this was like, hey man, we're gonna go into the homies club. They don't serve alcohol. But no, like, they patted you down. Look, yeah. this, this is how gangster I am, dog. Look, the crazy thing about me is, I got to the game with some real ass fools, and I've known them forever to this day still. And what's crazy is, uh. A lot of my boys, including me, we either became managers or general managers of your clubs. Your homeboy is the manager at this spot. You know, he runs it. He's the general manager there. They patted so, down Pedro. No, they, they patted. Yeah. You were Pedro down. Some One of them had the bottle no. for his fool. They caught it on him. And they were like, hey, they told my go boy. Back. They go, hey, he has this. And I go, man, I come. I go, come here. And he comes to me, and I get the bottle, and I put it in my pocket. And I go, and then he just looks at me, and he just lets me in. <laughs> and I only that, right? So we have to buy a fucking fake-ass, uh, like, like non-alcoholic yeah, water, beer, right? Water, so, yeah, water, water, water. It's full nude. And then Eddie, Eddie texts text, uh, me and the homie. He's like, hey, just run to the bathroom after you. Right now, come to the bathroom. The little section, and I was like, we already finished the sack. So we're all kicking it in the restroom. He kicks the door down. He's like dumps out the fake beer and then he fills up every single bottle, everybody's bottle with, with the Hennessy. Hennessy, dog. So we're kicking it there, just like just down in pure Hennessy off of like old duels bottles and just it's cra- it's crazy shit happens after that, man. No, nah, but that, that that's that's the thing. Uh, like like I said, a lot of my boys work in the club, so when we go out, I end up knowing someone there, and they just show mad love, dog. Right. It's crazy, dog. Everything's everything's kind of getting back to normal little by little. It's not yet. Pretty soon there's going to be this stupid ass study saying that we got to all go back inside because everyone's sick. It's, but it's back to normal to the sense where like it's halfway. You know what I mean? Like because there's still people that are halfway. You know. I mean, it's been normal for me all the time, every day. Like, yeah, you've been a savage about it. I've been a savage about it. I thank God that I, I, I didn't get sick. I know someone that got sick that's very close to me, but it, he didn't. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that that got him. He's always had asthma since he was kids. We were kids, but it was something. He had an open wound. Yeah, yeah. pretty much, dog. If you if you have like a pre a precondition or whatever, yeah, he, it, yeah. yeah, dog. If you if you have a history of respiratory shit, it's gonna get you. But it's never gotten to me. I've taken dabs where like. I'm breathing and I hear like the popcorn in my lungs. I'm like, no, nah, I just took a big dab. That's all it is. That, wait it. up, as you just, you know people that smoke. You're in the smoking community have you ever heard of this of anybody that broke a rib from taking a dab i met some guy that literally said dude i took a fat dab and i just coughed so hard that it broke a rib no nah, it, 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 it wasn't like, ice cream i don't know nah, it wasn't this, a rib. you yeah. know what it was what was it he he slipped one of the discs in his back because i i've had it happen to me like where you cough at a wrong he, angle he coughs and and your back is like there's vertebrates in your back that are different ones well, let me break it down so like Here's the thing, just like anything that like you do that makes your body put like for example, a certain sneeze could 
like it, it can make you fucking feel that shit here, nah, the dog. back, and all that. Shit. I've so, got it in right here on my fat ass up here, like on my back. And I thought, like, fuck yeah. it, my ribs broken. But this it's... is when hot dabs were kind of like being okay. given out. I was so about to say that like, might have been a hot dab type of shit. That... An appropriate dab, like when I take my shit, is either between 530 degrees to 480, right? Yeah. That's what I usually prefer. At the time when those shits were going around, if you're taking something at 800 or to like no, a thousand there is, degrees, there is a time where like the redder it is, dab. yeah, that's that's the best dab you gotta take. Like they thought it being hot was the best, but, but, it, that, it was wrong. but I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to get to is that like if you're taking it between 800 to a thousand degrees off a of metal fucking nail, that first cockback is gonna fucking be so much impact on either here your chest or your throat because there's been times when I used to dab and I used to use metal fucking nails. I ain't titanium, the titanium. Yeah, the titanium. I had else. that fucking uh, Grand Torino shit when he went to the sink and he was like, <clears throat> and he had that blood in there. Yeah, and I, stopped, I never had you know, that. I, I stopped for fucking like five days and I was and I didn't. I was like, all right, after five days, if it comes back, yeah, we'll go to the doctor. But don't say shit. You know what I mean? But no, but that but that and, was from force. That and don't take dabs. I, I took a dab sitting down once. Oh my god, I fucking coughed my lower back out, dog. Like that shit hurt for like. Two, three days. I'd have a big fat Samoan bitch walk on my back. That's the only way it got back to normal. It, it it gets fucked up, man. There's a lot of pressure when you. I mean, the shit's changed up so much. So like, there's way there's so many ways where people can. I mean, even the softest person in entertainment can get a vape pen that'll give you a good dab, but it's at the softest degree. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's it's become accessible now, but. So like yeah. the Hank, I, mean, like I used the to Hank to dispens- dabs. I used to go to dispensaries like, and I'm sure like how Eddie has been too. We described it where the shit was red and the shit goes. Yeah, it, it used to be the hotter. The hotter the, the thing was the, the better the dab. Yeah, the first but, thing they would tell you is the water's right there. But my boy, shout out to my boy Rack Wax Pervert Dog. That's my boy right there. That fool put me on to some crazy shit on my wax head out there. Dabbers, pay attention. This fool would get the fucking wax. With the fucking bowl cold still, throw the fucking wax in the bowl, light it, and then hit it. He called it a cold start. He was cold starting dabs, dog. He, he made the the dude he's talking about. Uh, he like so. There's different consistency. So like shatter, it gives you a certain percentage. Diamonds, which is like this, like this. This shit fool was like Walter right White, here, dog. It's like eighty percent, and then there's this shit called THCA, which is like. Pretty much it looks like, like um, coke. Well, what it is, it does look like coke, it looks but like it's coke. pretty much the THC diversion of un. Like if there was uncut, uncut. coke, uncut. this is uncut wax. So like it's ninety eight to ninety nine yeah. percent, right? Fire dog. It doesn't taste like anything, and it's so strong that there's so much con- that it leaves like a red frosted layer. mouth, yeah. huh? Yeah, in your mouth, or like it'll leave a layer on your teeth. Yeah, but like one or two. Dabs, I thought I was bro, tripping. I thought it, I, I thought no, I did it, it too hot. It, 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 it fucks you up, and it's like it's pretty much like if you separated like. The, the juice that makes this taste good and you put the diamonds and you like separated the diamonds no, that don't. would be THCA uh, how much did I go for huh? how much did I go for yeah like okay so the regular wax was diamonds okay yeah yeah go, go from right okay, go from like shatter diamonds, was shatter diamonds is a combination of, of, uh, of sauce and, and you know constant, like the diamonds are THCA so dog, you this just shit put the, look the like sauce coke, or flavor dog. so like in the dispensary it'd be anywhere from like 70 to 100 dollars but if somebody has legal THCA because it's too much of a high concentration for the legal market, it's probably going to cost you about $120. Grab, oh, yeah, that's expensive, grab. dog. Because yeah. I remember when he showed me, he goes, hey, because he, I love this fool. He's always been cool as fuck, dope as fuck to me. Every time I see him, he shows me love, gives me a few grams or something. But he had that white shit. He goes, hey, check this Coke out I got. And he opened the fucking jar, dog, and he had it was filled to the top of just white rocks and, he was like, and i was like yeah let me get a bump and he started dying he goes nah this is wax dog i'm like what if you get pulled over with that shit dog it's over if you hear this uh extra faggy voice in the background we got manny it's cracking, it's cracking. coming through filling in seats speaking of filling in seats dog you you uh you do the door at a full nude strip club right yes sir yes, when's sir. the last time you went to work uh probably around like March. Same here, March? same here. Okay, so it was like I've two, been a, two months and a half? Months, yeah, almost two yeah, months. I, I've been a door guy before. Like when I first oh, so you know. I think 2005, June, is when I first started doing this shit. And I, in every club you go out, especially this club yeah. that I worked at, you got to start as a door guy. You move well, I'm up. pretty sure that's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And you move up the chain. It's like a mob. And, yeah, like and, you got to start low. And, and we see the weirdest shit. shit, dog. As door guys, we Fuck see yeah. it right <laughs> up front and right when they leave, like, 
We see these fools come in regular. Yeah. And then we see these fools come in with like come on them still. Oh, man, <laughs> like they're old face, they're nut face, all that shit. How long? Uh, how long were you a door guy, Eddie? I was a door guy for like six months, and I was when I dog young me was. Young me was a different me, dog. I so was six just, months total, right? Yeah, I was just so cool with everyone that the the fools that were up above me were like, we got to take them in and show them love, like, dude. What about I you, was, man? Wait up, wait up, wait up. Like that, I'm like yeah. a, a year in. A year, okay. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie might be a DJ, but this was always a door guy, dude. Look at him. If you need backup, he calls him in. I've seen those videos of this fool just grab someone. You need, you seen, seen those no videos of. Uh, French Prince of Bel Air when they kick that fool out and, and, and you think that's a joke out. and you think that's a joke nah for Eddie I've seen this fool do that shit. that shit only too. reason you won't post it is cause of legal, legal reasons yeah. but I swear grabs this fool Xavier, maybe DM this fool and he might send it to you but he just tosses this fool yeah, out they were always friends. hyping me up oh. there's fools hitting me up like fool you ain't hard I'm like what do you mean they <laughs> <laughs> like, me up so much I'm like dog I'm just a regular cat no, but well, hey, but being the door guy, you see a bunch of crazy shit, dog. Like crazy shit. I so you've remember, been longer than Eddie, right? No, he's been in the game longer than me. No, I just have a door, yeah. a door guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have six months on him. But like, again. dog, what was crazy is like I remember one time, like, cause I know what you mean, cause when I I did the door, I worked full nude, and you worked full nude too. Yeah. And I remember this fool. He was a black fool. I remember, and he came to the door, dog. And this motherfucker, you know the, the you know those you, you know how the NBA player wear their shorts, and then they have the, like those those stockings underneath, yeah, the, like, like those the leggings. Models, leggings this fool you? had those on only. Oh, shit. <laughs> like he didn't have oh, the yeah, shorts he was... on. He had those on. He was black, and the things were black too. So, so he, like, and he had like a shirt that looked baggy, and like it covered his ass cheeks and like his dick. Yeah, he was wearing a dress. So like, hey homie, what the fuck? You got some fucking pants on or what? He goes, yeah, yeah, look at it. And like, dog, get the fuck out of here. You can't wear those. <laughs> he was wearing those skin tights because when his fucking, like Spider Man, because when his dick got hard and he's getting that lap dance, she's feeling all dick, <laughs> dog. Yeah. Oh, but don't most guys wear like fucking basketball shorts? Oh, yeah, like wet shit. You want to know why they wear shorts? This is why they wear shorts, dog. You go under it. Yeah. Pocket pool. They go under and jack you off. That I see it all the time, dog. That that's why guys wear basketball shorts to the strip club. Sweats. They wear sweats for the same reason. Like they, they they can't go underneath them, obviously. But you're feeling all cloth and dick on pussy hole. Hey, no wonder yeah. when you walk up in there with jeans, they look at you like a Rubik's cube. Like, but not like, only that, like him. not only that, when you wear sweats, it's easier to fucking pull that sweat over and flop that dick out. And yeah, jack dude, it I'd, off I'd wear those basketball sweats. The ones you go. Oh, uh, rip them off. You oh, know those yeah. rip-offs ones? <laughs> I nah, I'd go hard like, like that. I, I used to tell the girls, like, look, man, I don't give a fuck what you guys do and make your extra money. You tip me 10%, so I'm not tripping. I go, but if I see someone's fucking dick, I'm flipping out. Because, <laughs> like, how X is sitting right there, I had the same kind of angle, but with, like, a camera angle right there. But my screen had all the booth cameras. So I didn't give a fuck. I'm sitting there playing PSP, Madden and shit. Like, bitches jerking fools off. <laughs> so one day, I put the thing down, I look up, and the chick, I actually looked up because the chick came up to me and said something, and then she went back. And when I, when she went back, I wanted to see where she was on camera so I could mark her dance. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she's still there. So I look back. Humble has his dick out. He's putting a rubber on everything. I go, fucking son of a bitch. I get up. I walk to him. I go, get the fuck up. I go, get up. He goes, what, what do you mean? I go, get the fuck up, dog. And at that time, like if you're at a strip club, you're in full nude, you get a VIP dance. You're going to wear a condom because you don't want to do blowback in your pants because you got to go to pick up your kids or go to your lady. You yeah. can't explain why I got nut all inside my pants. So these fools will nut and then they'll shake it off and they'll drop on the carpet. So they had a system worked out. Dog, the system. Man. I learned it from them. I was like, yo, that's Is this true, man? You know about this Dog, system? so Bro, when, that, when, when, uh, when he's sitting down and I seen him put the condom on, I see a condom on the floor. And I'm like, you have a fucking, you have the balls to throw this shit on the floor. I go, man, pick that fucking condom up. He goes, no. I go, man, if you don't fucking pick it up, I'm going to put your fucking face on it like a fucking dog. And he picks it up. I go, squeeze it so you don't drop it. He squeezes it, dog. <laughs> so we're, we're walking him out. He goes, dude, this is not even my condom. Mine's still on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this fool up, walked bro. out with a nut full condom in his hand. Some dog. other guy's nut and shit. I felt bad. I was like, oh, fuck it, like, bro, dog. Yeah. But you have to deal with that as a door guy. We call them flat tires. Like, we'll be on the radio. Yo, we got a flat tire out <laughs> here on the main floor. Get the door guy, come here, pick it up. Oh, like, yeah. No, we got like a, where we're at, we're, we got like a little, um, fuck, like a little hook thing where you could pick it up. 
Cause yeah, yeah, we had those too. Yeah, I'm not touching that shit with my hand, bro. The little electric. Yeah, the thing you pick up the trash with and shit. Yeah, we have those. Because of that, because, because you'll of find that. condoms. Yeah. Oh yeah, dog. One What's time? the worst thing you've encountered like, as as a door guy? I mean, like you've been in it a year deep, so like I mean, you're like modern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Any drugs? You find drugs? Oh, yeah. What do you do with Under drugs? Like, if you find well, we like, just throw them away. Good, wait, like, wait, wait, like, wait, 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 and be like, yes. When a paisa would come, and I catch him with the fake ID, <laughs> because we had this little thing. Imperial was a high class club, dog. Like this club was like dime, like baller club. Yeah. So we had this ID scanner where you scan your ID and it'll tell you if it's fake or not, or show your address. And the paisas will come with that MacArthur Park ID shit, and they'll fucking. I'll scan. It. I look at it. And I'm like, come on, dog. And I'll scan it, and I'm like. This shit's fake, dog. You know I can call the cops right now on you and report you for this shit. He's like, no, no, please. I go, how much does ID cost? He's like, one fifty. I go, look, dog. If you give me a hundred, I'll give you your ID back and I'll let you fools inside. <laughs> <laughs> These fools yeah. would pay, dog. You run into that? Yeah. Yeah. Like I had, well, not like with IDs, but like with foods. I was like the black IDs, foods with that lote, but man. But they look older. <laughs> and they tip you? Yeah, they'll be like, look, bro, I'll give you like 20 bucks. I don't have my ID, just let me in. I'll be like, all right, fuck it. Let you in. No, nah, dog. That's like, that, the, the, door, the door guy, tell me, that's the, like, the. That, I know this fool that's 40 years old. And when he works at a club, they offer him manager. He goes, nah, I want to be the door guy. That is the spot where you can make the most money if you know how to hustle. Okay, but what is what do you do as a door as a door guy? That's like the first line of defense too, bro. Like, like everything goes through the door. You're like TSA, huh? Yeah, bro. Like, like you, if you, a plane walk the, gets fucking you walk the girls blasted. in, you you count the dances. No, no. Well, so the door guy's job is responsible for that door. He's responsible for that money in the door. How the door guy works at a club is: look, you get paid. They pay to come in, ten bucks plus to drink. And that registering that money is your responsibility. Yeah. If, if you're short, short, you pay out of your pocket as a door yeah, guy. Yeah. And you, what was crazy is at our club, the bartenders, like if you didn't get a drink, like it's a one drink minimum. If the bartenders, like say we had, and this was crazy, we used to have these numbers. We had like 450 customers one night. And if the bartenders didn't sell 450 drinks minimum, they're paying out of their pocket, dog. And this is how... Uh, this is how the business stay arise. Like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. if 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 you don't like, I remember one chick would be like, "Hey, let ten guys in through the back door because I missed like ten fools for sure." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, dog. But like they will get taxed too. It's all like it's it's all like the owner knows my money is there on the numbers, so my money better be there on paperwork by the end of the night. Yep. You, you fools that work at the strip club, man, like, you guys have a different perspective on certain shit. Like, for, like, there's certain fools that go in there with, like, the thrill of life or, like, you know how, like, when fools go to Universal Studios and they do the tram ride and they, like, some fool from Australia might be, this is his first time, and yeah. he sees the Jaws come in and he's like, <gasps> you know, like, he grabs his yeah. candy shit, but, like, I've been there, like, for eight years in a row, so I'm over here, I was like, man, fuck you, bitch, that's shark. <laughs> but they're over here, I was like, that's how you fools, like. Oh, like, yeah, dog, when we go to another club, I tell bitches, like, bitch, I'm a faggot, get away from me. Cause I already know this shit. Like at the strip club, uh-huh. like, hey babe, you want to dance? Yeah, like, bitch, get away from me. I'm gay. It even, <laughs> like, get out of here. it even works for me. I'll show up to a strip club for whatever reason. Pick up Eddie. Eddie. Huh? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. came to pick up Eddie or whatever reason. I'm just somehow I'm show up there, and right when I pick up, the girls come at me, and then we're like, oh, what's up? I'm like, I know Eddie. Oh, uh, instantly, it's, it's, like I, it's like I, it's like I said, yeah. I'm yeah. gay or something. They walk yeah. away. They're like, this boy ain't gonna give me shit. Yeah. He's an asshole. He's probably Eddie's friend. When they say he's like, you know Eddie. Yeah, <laughs> instantly, <laughs> dude. Eddie ruined like for. I don't no, know, know what it is. They, what it is is they know. They I know. know. We know the game. Like they, yeah. they know. Like you know how magicians know that they're liars. It's like a code. Yeah. So like they're like, okay, he knows all the secret magic tricks. <laughs> yep. It's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? That's yep. how it is. That's why, like, I make them earn their money. Like, when we went to 7th Vale, I was like, look, bitch, if you balance that water bottle on your head <laughs> all the way from the bartender here, I'll give you 40 bucks. Yo, Manny, as a strip, as a door guy, what have you learned? Can't trust no ho, bro. No ho. No ho. And strippers are the best hustlers. At the end of the day. They do not. At, yeah, for at, real? At they the don't stop? And he said finesse, that, bro. He said that with, like, a face that says, 
I've seen a girl get dropped off by her boyfriend and say I love you and then go suck a dick. Right yeah. after. Look at him. Dog. He said yeah. that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah I have, bro. I straight see like fools like what walk car? their girls wait up, out. Wait up, wait up. What car is this full driving? Her car. Sometimes they're riding a what bike. Car, what car Her is car. it? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like a Honda or, or fucking... And, like, and she gets off, tells, tells them, I love look, you. Look, she's driving the whip, right? Because most of these foods don't have, like, driver's license or whatever. Yeah. And then they switch Strippers seats. Strippers like fuck-ups. Yeah. That's they what it is. kiss them goodbye, and then they pick them up yeah. at night, kiss them when they get in the car. And, and, and you've seen them I've suck seen dick. Them. You've seen them do No, the, I don't see nothing, bro, because I'm at the door. But you know what goes down. Yeah, well... My boy, well, like, we've always been tight, so he's the manager. He'll be like, come to the office real quick. I got to talk to you. I'm like, fuck, what the fuck, yo? I walk in there, he goes, look what she's doing. She's over there just sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's crazy is I seen some girl suck someone's dick one time. Like, we were watching it in the office, and I felt weird. Because, like, she was giving him head, and then she fucking took his dick out of her mouth and fucking shot, fucking come all in her mouth, dog, like a champ. And then she starts like walking to the dress room, <laughs> and he's not nah, probably like 100 bucks at the most. She probably charged him. And she's walking back to the dressing room. He's like, oh, get out, get out. Like, she's coming. So I get out full, and she's by her bag already. And she's fucking pounding a big-ass bottle of Fireball. And she drinks it. And she goes, she sees me. goes, hey, what's up? You want some? I'm like, fuck uh, no. Nah, I mean, I'm good. She goes, come on. Don't be a I, bitch. So drink something I, with me. I'm like, I, oh, I'm good. I got to ask you guys this, especially because you work at two different locations. So Dog, I've, done a full, I've done full nude for like. But when something like this years, goes down, right? Like, for, like for example, you saw it in the cameras, and let's just say you know it goes down. Like, no. let's just say, if I'm, like, what do you like? Like, you know, are you guys supposed to do anything about Look, it? Look, dog, here's what I are do. Are you supposed to go be like, hold Here, on, bitch, time out? This is uh, what I do, dog. If a girl's sucking dick, making money all night, tax her. I'm, I'm taxing her at the end of the night. I'm asking all my guys, hey, did she give you ten percent? Did she give you five percent? Did she tip you? Oh yeah, yeah, she took care of us. Fuck yeah, cool. Like it's a point system. Cool, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, okay. But if she doesn't, I'm gonna be like, hey man, you didn't take care of the DJ. She's like, well, um, he didn't put me on stage. Just not like maybe because you were sucking dick in the fucking <laughs> VIP room. That's why I didn't put you on fucking stage. You think we didn't see that shit? They're like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Here, here, here. That's it. Like you just that, Eddie? Like oh, that? Just like that. <laughs> just like hey, that's well, like, hey, no, that's some mob shit, though, man. No, but what's crazy is, like, uh, where I work at now, there was these rookie fools that caught this. This chick was beautiful, dog. She was bad, ex. You would have probably fell in love with her. Gorgeous. Like they, a unicorn? Some fool that <laughs> comes in there, like, he, he's a wild-ass white boy, like, and he has bread. And he's an older white fool, and he offered, he goes, five bills. Like 50? Older, 60? like but, like, bald-headed, but he does coke. And he's crazy, dog. This food bought coke from some food that that goes there, and there, he comes there every day looking for him. So he gives this chick. She just got hired, five hundred bucks to get his dick sucked, and he does it. But I wasn't there, so the DJ and the manager get all mad because she gives them, them she gives them five bucks each, and they start cussing at her, talking shit, and they fire. Her. So what they tell me, I'm like, don't trip, you know, I'll handle it. Yeah. So when she comes in. I see her again. I'm like, hey, man. I go, what happened last time? She goes, well, they were talking shit to me. I go, yeah, because you gave them five bucks. She goes, I was trying to give them more, but they were talking shit. I'm like, look, dude, you were sucking dick back there for 500 bucks. I go, give them five bucks each. I go, you got to give them at least. <laughs> yeah, that's I go, you got to give one guy 100 bucks and one guy 50 bucks. And she's like, what? A, well, what? I go, you got to give minimum. Break them up, bro. Minimum. I go, you got to give one guy 100 bucks and the other guy 50. Minimum. Out of 500? It's a point system, dog. Yeah, 500. That's yeah. a lot. No, it's well, not. not no, it's not. It's 10%. Yeah, it's times two. Like and plus, you went home with it. You didn't tip. So then she's like, well, can I work tonight? And I'll give it to him. And then I go, I'm not going to be here. So I'm not going to know if you do or not. I go, and then I go, then they don't have balls like me to talk to you. Like, I'm talking to you. They won't handle it Check right. Like, I, I'm not yelling at her. I'm talking to her cool. She was like, um, well, I go, look, man, you got two options. Either one, go get the money and come back. If not, get the fuck out of here and don't come back. I go, I don't care. That was oh. it. Because you can't let them Did do she that. she come back and give them the money? She well, didn't come back. Huh. That she sounds like a ripoff. Behind the scenes. What do you mean? You ever seen I, The Sopranos? He's like, he goes, bucks, he, hey, on you the get Sopranos, 150 on the, No, not me. You, there's two people. 
the, like the so DJ you gotta tip the, the DJ the and the manager. Man. Fool, look at it like that. Yeah, you gotta I, I tip two it, people. Fool, look at you gotta, you gotta break up the middleman. You gotta tip the fool. Five hundred is enough. You gotta bump it up. I'm gonna break it down to you a different way, bro. I'm gonna break it down to you a different way. My thing, no, wait up, wait up. My thing is no. No, wait up. My thing is, why is she telling you exactly how much she's doing it? No, but we knew because you got her on film. We knew because the fool. Okay, okay. The fool bought a sack. From right. from someone right. look, I'm not telling you. I'm be like, dude, I did it for fifty. That's bro, what I knew. Ways to prove no, but that's when you could go up and to the customer and be like, cool. look, I, I know you guys did this. How much you give her? And then he'll like usually no, tell you. No, but that's what I did when I talked to the office. I go, man, I go. So you're charging five hundred. I came at her cool. I was like, damn. Like, girl. not trying to be a dick. I was like, you're charging five hundred bucks to suck Fool, dick. It, and any and now, but let me finish though. I go, you're charging five hundred bucks to suck dick. I go. You, you're too beautiful for that, man. I go. I, I was like, at least I, I go. No, dog. Food. This chick was hot, fool. Like bad. Like seven Skinny ten. Chick. Describe dog, it. What, what are we talking about? Okay. okay. Bad, fool. Tits, hot, ass, pretty, dog. Fool, eleven for five hundred under. That's gorgeous, so. dog. This bitch was hot. I was like, whoa. Like I couldn't believe it. Worth. I checked my wallet. I go, damn. Do I got five. But <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, I was gonna be like, you suck my dick. You could work tonight. But no, dog. I, I came at her like, damn, girl. Like, do I have respect for yourself, kind of thing. She was like, oh, put her head down. She didn't even deny it. And that's when I knew I got her. Like, she did it. You know what I'm saying? So that's when she was like, please, like, I just want, I need to work. And I like working here because I live down the street. And I'm like, well, it's easy for your uncles to come kick it with you and see you if they want some head, too. <laughs> but, like, I, I, I could have been a lame, like, most fools are in the strip. Like, yeah. most fools in the strip club are lame because they don't know how to say no to pussy. And I could have been a lame, like, okay, I'll let you work. And my boys would have been like, fuck Eddie, dog. He's a bitch. <laughs> like, that fool at her work after she did us, Shady, and I told her, if you don't pay these guys, give them the money. Can not let you work. You, you mentioned family. You've ever seen some hillbilly shit like that? Oh, yeah. Or like some like, hey, that's my uncle, that's it my aunt. It was weird. No, the girl, for real? The girl was like a meth head. Oh, and those are normally the ones that are like that. She was like, that's my stepdad. San Bernardino. And he, dog, and like he, and he was an old, drunk, white fool. And he was like, yep. Just like her mom. Like, he's over there, like, no. gassing her up. He <laughs> talked like Larry the Cable he, Guy. He was like, her How mom. she look? He was like, her, no, she looked like a burnt How out was tweaker she? dog. Yeah. She was. She used to get mad. She goes, I really like you, but, like, you're just, like, so mean to me all the time. Because she's, like, always <laughs> tweaked out. I'm like, dude, get away. Like, you talk to me too much. Get out of here. It was like, get her done. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, most fools we know would bone, bone her. Like, drunk me probably would bone her. Like, she was a skinny, <laughs> skinny chick, pretty Big tits, short, crazy Karen hair, and psycho dog. But this fool would be like, yeah, her mom would do that same move. <laughs> like, because like, her mom was a stripper, too. So it yeah, was crazy. That's for sure. Eddie's talked about and she mom wasn't and even, daughter, like, teaching the mom. Manny's over here, like, after, you see, yeah. after one year, you after see mom and daughter year, type shit? But what's crazy is yeah. she and wasn't wow. even. Did they look alike? No, they don't. Because the mom's no, a little hey, but, older, but you know. What's crazy is she wasn't even weirded out. She was like, put me on stage again. He's going to tip me again. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I thought it was weird, dog. Like, that's no, that's weird as fuck. Nasty. That's so fucking hot. Those have eye shit. Yeah, it's just how you grow up, dog. You yeah. grow. You're, you know what, though, you man? Grew up like, a certain it, way. It's it's not it's not even like some hillbilly shit or anything like that, bro. Like, I knew somebody through a friend. Like, yeah, every you know, race does that. Black, black them, Mexican, they, and white. It tripped me out, right? Because like like this is like through a homie, and he's like, yo, he's like. My sister fucked this cousin type shit, and they're having a kid, and the baby didn't come out retarded, so they're just like, "Oh, we got lucky because Jesus or whatever." <laughs> yeah, right. And like God said, we're supposed to be yeah, together. And, and, and in my head, like I'm just like, fuck that, dog. Like, like you know what I mean? Like the whole family, there's except for like ten percent, like you know, like the people that live like near the TJ border. You know what I mean? Like the Dead Sea type of people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a ten percent in that family that supports it, but when he told me about that, I was like. Fuck. It's pretty and weird. Then I, and then in my head, I was like, dude, like none, your sister doesn't make moonshine, and, you're, and none of them are from like the Midwest or anything like that. Nah, every race does it, dog. It's called, I got too drunk and I'm horny. That's what it's, it's called, it's dog. Just tri- a, it's just a la prima se la rima. No, no. You've all heard that. A la prima se la rima, dog. No, I know, man. I've heard that. that. We've all heard that. that. I don't know if you said it, but no, hey, my my family is scandalous, dog. My my guy cousins and my family are animals, fool. These fools were fucking each other's wives behind each other's backs, dog. Like for from like from like seventeen to like twenty two. I didn't talk to these fools because, you know, I, I did the Bruce Wayne thing. I went on my own. Remember when Batman yeah. Begins? I went to Hong Kong and shit. You know I, tried Hong to, Kong? <laughs> I tried to find my own self as an individual. So I didn't talk to these fools forever. So when I fucking finally talked to someone, like, yo, man, what's up with, uh, what's up with Jijo? What's up with them? They're like, dog, don't even say their names put together. I'm like, why? I'm like, this fool found out. 
he was our cousin was boning his wife, and they're all in the church band together, dog. Oh, hey. but, <laughs> weird, weird, <laughs> weird, hey, weird, weird coincidence though, bro. The same people I was talking about, they're like church involved. Dog, Ooh, dog. Oh, always yeah, together. I'm fool. talking about. Hey, you never found a hot, a hot cousin hot for your maniac. I've never been like that. Not but boner, I, but you were hey, like, hey, no, she's cute. Hey, no. But I remember, I'm not going to lie, when I was like eight, and then my older cousin, Anita, she was like 15, 16. I knew it. I think she jacked me off when I was little. <laughs> I think she jacked me off. I, I love how did. I think she jacked like, me off. Like, I, she would always look, touch me for uh, I'd be like, what the fuck? I, I know what you're talking about, bro. Xavier, but there, there's... Like, hey, but she's fine, though. I'm like, oh. There's certain bitch. shit where like, no, you're like, cousin, like... If you if you got raised a certain way, <laughs> like for example, food. like you look at it, you like like I'd be like, hey man, like my cousin's wearing too too short, too much short shorts. Like what the f- she can't be playing. No, that's with how like I that. am. I'm like man, put some you know fucking I mean? baggy like, ass pants on. Because I'm just saying, like it's like at least like in my household, they told me it's like, hey, that's your cousin, fool. You know what I mean? Like you can't be like you know what I mean? like, you. It's not that you got brainwashed, but you got programmed a certain way. So like no matter Boy, what it was, it's, and it's even if like nature, that's the same. Bro, I, don't know, I'm a, nah, I might dog. sound like a maniac, but this this one time you're a maniac. I might. Dirty but she ass was Xavier. like Xavier. She was like Xavier's not even the type of pie side of fucking. No, nah, she was. She, she, was, was she lives in Mexico. It doesn't count. It's <laughs> all pretty much. <laughs> Look, he said pretty much. No, <laughs> nah, she was like a third cousin. I had never was met it her. Quinceanera. No, I had never met her. And then I was eighteen. I was like, I was. Like 18, and then she's like, Oh, so and so's coming through, and I was like, All right, and then she came through, and then she was like, Kind of cute. She was 21, she was even older than me, and I was just like, And I was like, I even told my dad, You know, my dad's a maniac too. I was like, Hey, dad, what's up with so and so? She's like, It's tu prima, and I was like, I was like, I haven't already boned her, but I was like, I haven't met her, but I was like, Yo, I don't tell you, bones all his crushes. It's me, no, nah, nah, but I just nah, I, I mean I didn't hook up with them, but, but I think one of them touched me when I was little. They're still I I don't know whatever. No, nah, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's just like, hey, hey, no, nah, but these fools were things. animals, dog. Like, and I, I knew it because like, like why is this fool always at your house? Hey, like he's there every day chopping up with your lady, and he's like, nah, like that's that's my primo. It's cool, dog. That gets worse. They were like, hey, you know, like we miss you, man. You should have came around. You know, more I go for what? For you guys go fuck my wife too? <laughs> That's all like what the fuck? <laughs> but nah, dog, check it out. There was this one chick I knew in high school for the longest time. This chick was my homegirl. I used to play ball with her brothers. Hot chick, cool. She used to do my notes for me, everything. Dope as fuck chick, cool as fuck. Um after high school we still talked to each other a lot. She wanted to kick it. She was going through some shit personally. And she drove all the way from Corona down to Newport, right? I used to live out there by Newport. And I was like, it's my cousin's birthday party in Long Beach. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do something, let's roll. She goes, cool, I'll pick you up. Picks me up, and this is when the, the that new Camaro generation came out. The, the new body? The yeah. New body. The, the, the pointy the, one. Yeah, yeah. The, the, transform- transform- one. the old one, the new one, though. The, 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 the new model. Oh, the new one. Yeah, 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 the one yeah. Yeah. now, yeah. Pulls up one of those. I'm like, oh, shit, damn, girl, you getting it still? Because she used to drive a Beamer before. Yeah. And we, she picks me up. We go to the party because she knew I wants to get fucked up. We go, we show up, dog, and this bitch is, like, she's bad, dog, yeah. but I've known her since I was a fucking freshman in high school. But she's, like, well, like a family she's, friend. She's a homegirl. Home she's girl, she's yeah. my homegirl. So we get up there, dog, and one of my weirdo cousins is like, hey, dog, if I ask her to dance, would you get mad at me? I'm like, dog, what are you talking about? I'm here for other bitches. Like, like chill <laughs> out. But he was one of those fools that were always in the church. Dog, so I tell her, hey, this fool wants to dance with her. She goes, oh, I'm shy. I'm not just dance with this fool. Who's been in the army, special ops, dumb shit like that? He's hanging around dick his whole life. So she dances with him, dog, and he ends up getting drunk. And he sees her car, and he's like, "I gotta get her number. Let me get her number." I go, "Hit her up, fool. Don't be a bitch. Hit her up." You like the middleman? <laughs> yeah. So he hits her up, and gets her number, and she has to tell him, "He's like, hey, your cousin's stationed in Seattle. I'm gonna fly out there and kick it with them." I go, "Fuck yeah, that's what's up. Handle it." And she flies out there, and his fucking wife. Catches him because he's buying the plane tickets with the, the credit card, the, the credit card, the, yeah. the, the, the family yeah. card. Oh, fuck. That so up. he ends up getting this bitch pregnant like a dumbass, and the whole family's blaming me. And that's his cousin because uh, I met her, but because he met her through yeah. me. You're the middleman dope dealer I, with the cousin. It's all, it's all his fault. <laughs> he broke up the family, blah, blah blah. So that this is what gets crazy. He leaves his wife. And then my other scumbag cousin comes in and takes his ex-wife, dog. Oh, bro. <laughs> savage, savage. Imagine the kids, dog. Who's Theo? Eddie got like Planet of the Apes in his family. No, nah, I didn't hang out with like, them. Dog. I didn't fuck with them, dog. I'm like, dog, I already knew. I just knew. said she was cute. They did. <laughs> you know, I, was I already like, knew, dog. I was like, hey. Eddie had that shit where it was.
was like, hold on, I'm going to take your shit, toss my shit at you. That's my business I already now. knew. I'm like, <laughs> like this crazy, was some primal shit going on. Like, that's not me. Bro. Those that's, fools, I mean, though. not him, but like, he's, he's like, that's some gay man shit. And what's crazy is these fools were in church since they were little kids to like it's adults. Church, what is that? Like, a Catholic? Catholic, Christian, dog. Guys. They went, hey, when they did the it, they went the I next knew, day. They were Pentecostal, uh, like the fools that went, like, all that shit, you know what I mean? Hey, fool, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know how those fools are Pentecostal? They be having that, that they be having. All right, so. My sister's Pentecostal. One time I, I went in like 60 minutes, right? It was I was in college. It was my sophomore year. You I went was, to I college, went in, fool? Yeah, fool. You graduated. This fool was like met the man, the red man. He graduated. High. So <laughs> in order to like skip a whole six months of school, I had to do a special project, which meant going to you like. You had to bow one of your professors? No, it, 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 <laughs> it, it meant like I was taking, uh, what is it, uh, world religion? So it meant like. Going in like inside like sixty minutes like undercover right so like my friend my best friend he's raised Pentecostal so he was getting into it and he quit gambling so he took me to this shit in Apple Valley where these fools had like this camp right and I took my black homie named Devin I was like we're like hey fool, this is easy a hey, we skip fucking six months of school let's just go ahead and film it the teacher's gonna buy it let's do it right so the whole first thing we get settled in we're sleeping in these sheds. Dog, they make us watch like Jesus get beat up like a motherfucker, right? Yeah, and like, yeah bro, like, for like two hours, right? Trying to make you feel bad. After the first 10 minutes, I was like, hey, fool, fucking turn on your phone. Let's play Snake. You know, I was like, so like this was kept coming back trying to do it. So like, after an hour and a half, they kept trying to do that that X-Men shit where they put your hand on each shit, right? Yeah. They go, right? This is say Xavier is the girl next to me, right? And fucking uh, Here he is. The, the, dude, the dude's like, you know what I mean? And like this fool goes like, he starts crying. The then Holy goes, Spirit yeah. in him. Then he goes now. to you, and you starts crying. And then my Dog, head, first of all, as soon as he points at me, I'm socking that phone in the fool, fucking face. I, I wanted, I wanted to find out the, the, I wanted to find out the mysticism to the shit, right? Because I was like, I was going in there with an open mind. So then after he he went to you, he went to me, right? And he goes to me, and I was like, all right, here it comes. And he goes like this, nothing, and it, nothing happened, right? And he stops, like so, like he's the like, oh shit, my powers are out, right? Thought you're a devil. <laughs> and then he prays again. He does this shit again. And he tries to do it, and I'm staring at him like this, bro. Like, you know, what I mean? I'm staring at him, but I was and he's trying like, to make yourself cry. Yeah, like, and I'm just like, yo, come on, man, let me feel this shit. I was like, I want to start crying too if this shit's real. And after the second try, you know what he does, bro? Doesn't say shit. Doesn't act disappointed. He literally goes like this. It goes to the next person. Like, oh, ignore this motherfucker. He's damned. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> I fucking tripped out. I'm just. T- it's like it, it's a whole mental fucking. Oh thing. fuck yeah, yeah. It is. yeah it Hey, is. Uh, we just hired this new door guy uh, at Eden. Uh, shout out to my boy John Guerrero. We just hired him. Motherfucker, seven years old, dog. Seventy years old, dog. Our seven. door guy. I told him, man. I, is that Gran Torino? I go. Can you, <laughs> I go. Can you pat down the guys? He goes, no, but I can pat the girls down. <laughs> I go, how are you going to walk in the girls? He goes, like this. <laughs> Shout out to John Guerrero. It was a wild one, dog. Hopefully your memorial weekend was memorial, especially if you wore a mask. You're not going to ever forget that. That's going to be very memorial for you. Most people said, fuck it, dog. We're barbecuing. We're partying. i seen people in the pools together with extra chlorine to kill the corona. Me, I just did me what I do every day, dog. I'm me. I'm one person. People hate. I don't give a fuck. But we're going to close this bitch out, dog. We're going to close this out like George's mind closed out today. If you notice, George wasn't on this episode because we kicked him out because he didn't have no coke for us. We told him <laughs> to leave and don't ever come back. He was like Spider-Man and Iron Man and the Avengers. I don't feel so good. Yeah, dog. <laughs> hey, Manny, let him know where they can follow you at, dog. Hey, follow me on Instagram, manny.ss88. And that's about it. E-Zone. What you got coming up, dog? Let them know. Shit, dog. I was like, like all of us, we don't have that much comedy gigs going out, but my fucking e-commerce shit is paying off. Uh, high and hungry, www.highhungry.shop. Or yeah, you got so many jobs. One yeah. of them I got to be essential. Yep, www.flavorsbodyzone.com. <laughs> I got High and Hungry merch. We're still making curbside pickup, and uh, we added a, a munchie section to my website, so I got exotic, rare American snacks. Because you got to look at it like this. Some places don't have Whole Foods. Some places don't have Vons. But I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, that's what I've been doing. And if you want to follow me at E-Zone the Firm with a D-A. So. X to the F-A-G. What's going on, dog? What's up? I ain't got no shows, I think. But Sam Tripley is going to be at, hopefully he tags me on there, uh, June 4th to the 6th at the Comedy Club at Kansas City. He's gonna fucking. KC. He's gonna be the first fool to fucking stand there 
I think he might wear a mask. I think it's going to be 25% capability, but fuck it. He's going to do it. Yeah, fuck it. He's a conspiracy theorist. He should fucking be out there spar. slinging dick. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. to spar your fuck shit. Fuck it. No matter but who is there, dog. So if you're in it's Kansas, better they, dog, go over there. Look, no matter how many people is there, it's better than that Instagram live shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get over, dog. Hell yeah. I mean, shit. I, I've seen a lot of these sporting events, and it's. I mean, even though I don't really keep up with sports shit like that, it's just not the same, dog. You oh, watched yeah. the Michael Jordan documentary, though, right? I'm Last like two dance. episodes in, and then I stopped. What? I'm not even a basketball fan. And then with George you know, and you know, you know, yeah. you know what I fucked it up for on me, it, dude? bro. It's dope. Now, nah, you know what it. fucked it up for me, dog? He's is not that, from Canada. Okay. No, no, no. Not, just, no, <laughs> not <laughs> that. <laughs> and I, it's nothing to do with his skill. All right, so in the Space Jam movie. Oh, dog. What in the Space movie? Jam movie, the soundtrack, right? Yeah. Coolio is on a song with B-Real. And all these fools that are on this song for the Space Jam movie were just like, oh, man, what an honor to get featured on Space Jam, this and that. And they thought they were going to meet Jordan. Yeah, Michael Jordan's like, fuck you, fool. Yeah, Jordan didn't want to yeah, meet. Dog. He said, I'm going to listen to jazz. I ain't going to fuck dog, with none of these dog, fools. That Space Jam came out. When they were filming Space Jam, it was like 94, 95. Michael Jordan has been famous since 1983, dog. You know how many people have wanted his autograph? Like, there was a segment. But this was his movie, dog. Nah, he didn't give a fuck. Dog, he had a strict schedule. It was shoot, shoot, play, train, play, shoot, shoot. He didn't have time for all the other shit. There was a part on the last dance that I was like, that's Michael Jordan. And it wasn't even a basketball move. He was overseas, and the fool that was putting his microphone on him asked him, can I have your autograph? And Jordan didn't even say yes or no he looked at that fool's boss and say are you gonna talk to him or Damn. am i gonna have to do it no and I've, his boss was like you can't do that i've seen that attitude and why jordan came out with that i'm sorry if you guys think i'm an asshole no, but hey but like but i have a friend that he used to work there, there, there was a, re, uh, a restaurant called ariel's grotto at california adventure and there used to be a lot of famous people that go there like adam sandler a lot yeah. of people would go there and his work would tell him do not bother him serve him like you're serving him food don't ask for no picture you will get fired yeah no, he, well, yeah, they're, they're spending he, their money like he was to scheduled to i mean from what i heard in the story he was scheduled to show up during the video shoot not even to be in a cameo type shit just to show up to oh, like yeah. hey these are the hottest rappers doing your shit oh yeah no nah, he don't give a fuck that don't get me wrong yeah. the first they, they met him at the wrong year like if the yeah, first nah, he, the first two years michael was like i'll sign anything you want i'll sign your titty i'll sign your dick I'll sign your poster or whatever because that fame was just so big. But after 12 years of that same shit, it's like, stop it, dog. Like, it, leave yeah, it was just a tr- and, yeah, and, you know, it was known that he wasn't a fan of the hip-hop shit, too. That's what I heard. He wasn't, he, you know. Dog, nah, Michael loved hip-hop. Um, this is Side Dick Eddie filling in for George Perez. George Perez caught the clap. He went down with it. High temperature fever. He might have had the corona. We don't know. It's all good, though, dog. I got ease on with me. X to the F A G Manny George Perez one what one sixty four one sixty four dog we're at your door like a whore that never scored check us all out at our individual social media sites take a shower side dick in your bitch power late. late.